from whatever you are logging in right now, from whatever time is your local time zone. God bless you. Hallelujah. God is good. The Bible says he's good and his mercies endure forever. I'm excited to be here again once again. It's another Tuesday evening. Greetings to you all. Welcome to our Tuesday evening intercessory prayers. My name is Apostle Johnson Domenike. Every Tuesday night I bring you word of life, word of encouragement, word of power. Hallelujah. So whatever is your need tonight, whatever is your consign tonight, the Bible says bring it unto the throne room of grace. And then God also assures us in his words. He says when we come to him, we must, we must absolutely come believing in our heart that he is the rewarder to them that diligently seek him. I pray tonight, my prayer is that our moment that we're going to spend before the Lord tonight will not be in vain. Amen. Hallelujah. It's not going to be uh, uh, just one of those moments. Hallelujah. Another, another, another moment. But let it be a time of expectations. Amen. Hallelujah. Let it be a time of expectation. I uh, actually have told our members, I, many times I've told them, I said, every moment, opportunity I have is a time of impartation. Hallelujah. It's a spiritual, prophetic moment of impartation. Praise the Lord. The time is so short that we have a lot to accomplish. So we do not really have time to waste, hallelujah, engaging in frivolous, unprofitable things. We want to use our time effectively. The Bible says we should redeem our time for the days are evil. Hallelujah. Praise be to the name of the Lord. Today is June 1st. It's the first day of the month of June. Happy June. Happy month of June. I pray that this month shall be a month of victory. It shall be a month of breakthrough. I pray that this month will be a month of great mighty testimonies in the name of Jesus. I pray you will triumph this month. I pray you will have pleasant surprises. The goodness of the Lord, His mercy will follow you, will guide you and lead you. Hallelujah. In all of your ways, you will be blessed in your going out and blessed in your coming in. Hallelujah. You will find favor. You will find divine favor will find you in the name of Jesus. You will not miss your mark. You will not miss your target. As you turn your face to begin to praise God, even draw even more nearer unto the Lord during this month of June. Hallelujah. Your testimony shall know no bound. In the name of Jesus, my God, my Lord, that supply all my need, shall supply all your need and meet you at the point of your need. It's the month of June, friends. It's the month of breakthrough. This is a month of pressing forward. This is a month of stepping up to the next level. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Bible says, they that worship him shall worship him in spirit and in truth. As you Worship the Lord in spirit and in truth. You will know no bound. Every limitations, every dead ends, every dead end situations, hallelujah, every blockage in your life, everything that seems like embargo, that appears like limitations. As you turn your face to the Lord and remain steadfast, may the Lord God turn your situations around in the name of Jesus Christ. Praise be to the name of the Lord. There's nothing that happens now or would happen that will be a surprise to God. Bible says he's omniscient God, which means he's unknowing God. We thank him for what he has done, preserving us, protecting us, guiding us in spite of everything. Hallelujah. And we have made it to the month of June. Thank God for the month of May. Hallelujah. Thank God for many blessings. Thank God for meeting up all. Hallelujah. That he has set to meet for us. God never misses. He's never late. And he's never too late. He's never late. Have much more saying. He is too late. He told Jeremiah, there is nothing, is there anything too, too hard <clears throat> for God? There is nothing too hard for my God. I believe in the matchless, powerful, mighty name of Jesus. I believe in the miraculous hand of the Lord. I believe, praise the Lord, hallelujah, in the hallelujah promises of God. And I pray tonight, praise the Lord, that the Lord strengthen you and quicken you. And may he meet you at the point of your need, coming short of nothing, missing nothing, in the name of Jesus. There is no coincidence as far as God is concerned. And because there is nothing that catches him on God, I pray tonight as we join our faith, unify our faith tonight, that we will move mountains. Jesus Christ said, if you have faith, even as the mustard seed, because the reason why he said that, 
is because some people do not even have faith at all. And he's using the most tested, which is the smallest grain of seed on earth. Jesus said, if anyone has faith, because some people don't have it at all. And he said, their faith could even be even as little as the most said. They could command a mountain. Is there a mountain in your life tonight? Tonight in the precious name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I pray the power of the Lord and the power of the Lord of God and King of Kings. Let the Holy Spirit begin to saturate and hover across the home where you are. Maybe you're in the office. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let us unite our faith tonight. Let's have a church moment tonight. <clears throat> in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. As far as God is concerned, there is no such thing as limitation. God has no limitations. Amen. There is no limitation with God. Amen. What is impossible with man is possible with God. We serve a God of possibility. The all is sufficient God. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. In our terms of God of the heavens and the earth. Hallelujah. The God of the heavens and the, the creator of heaven and earth, Yahweh. There is no limitation to God. But for man there is limitations. Amen. Hallelujah. But we serve a God who has no limit. Amen. God has no limitations. Praise be to the name of the Lord. In the name of Jesus. So tonight I'm going to be praying with you. Consigning, taking you beyond your family limits. Amen. Praise be to the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. The Bible says God is not God of favoritism. Amen. He's not God of favoritism. There's so much promises and promise of blessings. Good things God has in store for us. Amen. Hallelujah. And it is your duty. Hallelujah. To contain. It is your duty to pray. It is your duty. My duty. Hallelujah. To dream big. Amen. Do not limit your your dreams do not limit your expectations the bible says the expectations of the righteous man shall not be cut off so do not limit your expectations you owe nobody apology for your dreams hallelujah you owe nobody apology for your existence you owe nobody apology hallelujah for your hope amen you owe nobody apology for your dreams for your faith amen the bible says faith in the book of hebrews the Bible says, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. You do not own anybody apology for having hope. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We bless the name of the Lord. I just want to thank you for joining me tonight, ministers and friends. I want to thank you for coming on live with me tonight on this wonderful segment on this Tuesday night. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord richly bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, many times people refer to limitations in families, oftentimes they refer to as curses. Amen. Curse or curses. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Many times people refer to some things that their family could not get beyond. Sometimes people refer to it as curse. Amen. Hallelujah. So tonight, whatever name that is called that limitation in your family, in the name of Jesus, all it takes is one person, one day individual to... to one person, praise the Lord, one person to change the curse of a family, to change the, the path of a family, of, of, of yes, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Tonight, join me with faith, brothers, sisters, let's join faith together. There's power in the word of God, there's power in God's word, amen, there's power in the word of God, amen, praise the Lord. So when you come to the Lord, I encourage you to be intentional. Be intentional. Amen. Leave the rest to the Lord. I love the word of Charles Stanley. Praise the Lord. He says, give the Lord your ultimate. Amen. I think he said, give the Lord your best and leave the consequences for him, to him. Amen. Do you give him the, your best. Amen. Just do your best and leave the consequence to him. Amen. Hallelujah. I, since I've come to know the Lord Jesus Christ, I have Pray continually, pray daily, amen, hallelujah, and pray for grace to give my best to God, amen, and leave the consequence to him, amen, hallelujah, be intentional in your actions, be intentional in your worship, be intentional in your commitment, it's between you and God, he searches your heart, amen, God knows your intents, amen, hallelujah, he knows the conditions of your heart, he knows your desire, Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So be intentional. Amen. Work to be intentional with the Lord. So now we can, we're going to start here tonight by speaking a few words and I'm going to pray. Amen. I have about 10 prayer points to say tonight. 10 powerful prayer points 
in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Some of us have very limited expectations. We have very limited, hallelujah, dreams. We have very limited hopes because either way you were born, what you have been exposed to, hallelujah, or what you think you are. Amen. But God is speaking to you tonight, speaking to me tonight to say, like, dream big, have a big expectations. If it's not huge, if it's not beyond human capability, it's not a dream. Hallelujah. <clears throat> it's not a dream. It's a speculation. If your hope for tomorrow, if your desire is not bigger than hallelujah, eyes can see. It's not higher than hallelujah, hands can reach. If it's not beyond what people have heard concerning you, it is not a dream. It's an ex it is what? A speculation. Hallelujah. Praise be to the name of the Lord. Our God is not about if or but. He's the God of reality. Amen. Our God is God of reality. He's the God of the truth. Praise be to the name of the Lord. What is impossible with man is possible with God. Have faith in God. Dream big. Present it unto him. In Genesis chapter 11, 31 to 33. Amen. Genesis 11, 31 to 33. Praise be to the name of the Lord. We read the story of Terah. Amen. Many people, <clears throat> when we talk about Abraham, we often, people don't uh, remember, people often miss the story of his father. Amen. Terah. Uh, his name was what? Terah. Abraham's father's name was Terah. Terah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Abraham's father was Terah. He and Abraham and the children of, uh, and, and, uh, so he and Abraham and Lot, Lot was Abraham's nephew, and Sarah, amen, they left according to the commandment of the Lord, they left their hometown, they left Ur of the Chaldeans, praise the Lord, they went up, hallelujah, up highway, walking, moving, going towards the place where God has appointed for Abraham to go, and along the road, Terah died. Amen. Abraham's father died along the road. Amen. However, Abraham got up to the same place and he got up there. In Genesis 12, 5, Abraham got up. Amen. As the Lord has spoken to him. Hallelujah. Abraham continued the journey that his father could not complete. Hallelujah. Amen. He continued the journey he could not complete. Praise be to the name of the Lord. Is there dreams? Is there as some aspirations do not fall into the plans of the enemy to limit what you can accomplish in this life praise be to the name of the lord when god has given you all that you need in the book of second peter chapter 9 21 22 the bible says god has given us every godly gift every gift that we need in this life hallelujah to live amen the divine the godly to live the godly life every gift that we need in this life amen praise be the name of the lord to live the life successfully faithfully that god has given to us amen praise be, be to the name of the lord uh the book of uh deuteronomy chapter 8 old testament 8 18 says i am the lord god that give you power to make what abraham uh moses was reminding the children of israel that they must remember the Lord God, for He is the one that gives them power to make wealth. Amen. Hallelujah. So back to the story of Abraham. Abraham was able to achieve what his father Terah could not achieve. Hallelujah. The dreams and aspirations or the expectations of every parent is that their children go beyond. Hallelujah. Achieve what they could not achieve. That their children go beyond. The limitations of their parents, the limitations of their ancestors. Amen. God took him beyond his family limit. God took Isaac beyond Abraham's limit. God took Jacob beyond Isaac's limit. See, the story continues. God took Joseph beyond Jacob's limit. And the story Ephraim, Manasseh, God took them beyond Joseph's limit. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, tonight God will take you beyond the limitations of your family. In the name of Jesus, there's a tradition in your family. But you have desired in your heart, hallelujah, that you want to accomplish, you want to reach beyond the limitations of your parents, the limitations of your family, hallelujah, your family line, your genealogy, hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, it's possible that you would be able to do that. That's why I said in the name of Jesus, be intentional. Let your heart, hallelujah, be one with God. He will take you beyond, hallelujah, your family limit tonight. What is family limit? Family limit is defined as those things in your family, hallelujah, that 
nobody was able to achieve, to accomplish. Amen. Praise the Lord. In some place, families, in some traditions, some family trees. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise be to the name of the Lord. They could only go this far. Amen. Praise the Lord. They could only go this far. But when you begin to trust the Lord and begin to seek the face of the Lord and honestly search the way of the Lord and begin to make yourself one with God, He will take you from one small space like this. God will take you beyond. Hallelujah. The measurement of your eyes. You know what God told Abraham? Praise the Lord. He said, march to and fro. Continue to work beyond. Say, wherever the sole of your feet tread upon. The Bible says, God said, he will give it to Abraham and his generation for possession. Hallelujah. May we not be stuck in the limitations of our family. Hallelujah. The Bible says, as a man thinketh, so is he. Praise the Lord. As a man thinketh, so is he. I was ministering to somebody earlier this week who had called me and spoke to me concerning some kind of enigma, uh, an obstacle in his family, which he believed might be associated with some kind of satanic or demonic influence, a curse, as he has pointed out. And I haven't spoke with this young man and discussed some few things. I come to find out that Praise the Lord that what he was struggling with or they are struggling with, it's just their way of thinking. Because our way of thinking, our real reasoning can also put limitations on us. Amen. When you have certain traditions, you are stuck with custom and tradition. It could tie you in on, under the same umbrella or under the same cord that your parents, your ancestors were not able to make a breakthrough. But if you begin to look beyond the horizon and begin to, hallelujah. Begin to think about the possibilities of, of, of the dominion power and authority that God has given to you as a person. You will do more. Amen? Because the Bible says we serve a God who can do exceedingly and abundantly above all we can think or even act according to the power of God that working in us. Amen? Praise the Lord. We serve a God who is capable of who can do exceedingly, amen, can you imagine that, exceedingly and abundantly, amen, above and beyond, oh hallelujah, that is such a wonderful word of encouragement tonight, so whatever that you are battling with, that is a limitation in your family, sometimes it can be a little uh, in the area of maybe some uh, sickness in the family, hallelujah, that of course within a certain time, uh, to certain individuals in the family hallelujah you can make that change in the name of jesus christ the bible says hallelujah it is hallelujah the bible says hallelujah that uh you uh we have been uh called amen praise the lord we the, 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 there's a scripture look for the, the, the it's in the book of daniel i think 10 11 where it says hallelujah those that are called by god shall be strong but we do great and mighty exploit. I think it's Daniel chapter 10 verse 11. Amen. Hallelujah. When we, the children of God, come to the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. We must believe in our heart that we have been called and we must be strong. That we will do great exploit. Amen. Hallelujah. In the name of the Lord. So don't let uh, limit. Don't limit yourself because of what has happened before. Remember this tonight. Amen. Don't limit yourself because of what has happened before don't limit yourself because of what you have heard what have been told to you amen hallelujah you perhaps you've heard that it is not possible no members of your family or in your kindred or in your community was able to do this or that amen remember the god that you serve have no limit in the name of jesus even though your ancestors, your forefathers may have tried and didn't make a breakthrough. But if it comes within your mind, if God is pressing it upon your heart, as long as it's from God, it is possible. For there's no limit with this God that we serve. Amen? So do not let limit yourself because of what happened before. Remember, it is not by power. It is not by might. It is it's not by power, not by my, but by my spirit, says the Lord. In the name of Jesus, 
It is not by power, not by might, but by my spirit, says the Lord. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. I remember a lady I was ministering to years ago. She has seven aunts in her family. Seven aunts plus her mother. Eight women in her family. No male. Hallelujah. Every one of them, praise the Lord, every one of them had children by the time before they turned 18. Every one of them had ch child before they turned 18. Now, neither of them were married. Praise the Lord. I remember the lady, amen, and she was not raised in a Christian family, amen. She, religion, Christianity was just one of those things, praise the Lord, one of those, uh, for her it was just uh, one of the religions, amen. Even her, one of her sister converted to another religion. Her, one of her sister had left, uh, I mean, she was, they, they go to church every now and then, but it wasn't uh, something that it was, a, a, a regular thing in the family so one of her sister even in the search of truth converted to one of the third leading religion hallelujah her sister become fanatical just in search of answers why this tradition in the family why out of uh they were uh, as a matter of fact there were also three four sisters in the, uh, in the family and even four of them were of different father and from her own immediate family, her mother's side, she had three sisters, and her three sisters, all of them were all from this different father. Praise the Lord. And her seven aunts, every one of them, her child before the age of 18. And then a, a brother had came, she was engaged with a brother I know, and then she followed him to the church and began to hear a word of faith, a word of life. My bishop had then had asked me to minister to the young lady and speak to her and when i began to talk to her she was in tears having come to know the message of jesus christ that the lord can set her free from this thing that has following her family this thing has been uh an obstacle in her family line and we began to do a prayer of confession praise the lord and she began to do declaration hallelujah because she said that was a major obstacle in her life she really loved the young man she was with and she wanted to marry him but she didn't want the curse on her family the tradition in her family to follow her and so she was more she was very concerned about it and there was a, a fear that the, she might broke up the engagement might not work praise the lord and we began to pray and began to hallelujah ask the lord to intervene on her behalf she began to pray amen began to pray to 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 to, to Ask the Lord to turn around her situations, to turn it around. In the name of Jesus, the young woman wept and, and, and she wept that night, crying and repeating the word. Hallelujah. She said even her aunts who later tried to settle down, it never worked. So it became a family tradition in the family. Hallelujah. That they were a family nun to not have any uh, adult Hot male in the home as husband. So we began to pray that this evil trend will not continue with her. By the grace of God, her case is different now. Her case is different. Her case is different. The table has turned. She confessed and said, Lord, it stops this minute. It stops this now, right now. It stops with her in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And the Lord turned her captivity. He turned her shame turn her limitations into a blessing hallelujah in the name of jesus today hallelujah she's a happily married woman with three children thank you to the grace of the lord with two children as a matter of fact not three in the name of jesus happily over over 15 years she's been married over 15 years happily married with her uh, sweetheart hallelujah thank you jesus for that testimony our god is a god of miracle he says my children my people shall overcome by the blood of the lamb and words of testimony tonight in the name of jesus if you recall anything that is a limitation in your family praise the lord in the name of jesus our desire our prayer is that our children will go beyond our limitations they will reach where we could not reach praise be to the name of the lord they will get to where we couldn't get I pray tonight God will take you beyond 
whatever limit whatever that is a limitation in your family in the name of Jesus if you would pray if you desire it God will not give you hallelujah what you are not willing praise the Lord what you're not willing to step out hallelujah in faith for God is not amen praise the Lord he's not a Santa Claus he is a mighty God amen praise the name of the Lord if you want wisdom beyond your family limits, the wisdom that will take you beyond your family limit, just ask. Amen. Ask. God will give it to you. If you need wisdom and guidance, amen, God will give it to you tonight in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The Bible says the expectations of the righteous shall not be cut off in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. We're going to pray right now. Join me in this prayer. It's going to be a simple prayer tonight. We're going to be praying on this prayer need. And if you have a special prayer you want me to remember to bring up or to pray with you privately, please send your prayer on my message box. Hallelujah. I believe in the God of miracle. That's why I serve this God. Hallelujah. He is the God of miracle. Amen. God promised he will bring to pass. There's no limit to this God. There's nothing that's bigger than this God that we serve. He is Elohim. Amen. Our God is Elohim. He is Jehovah El Shaddai. The all is sufficient God. Amen. There's no limit to this God that we serve. Hallelujah. Maybe you have been facing limitations before maybe there are things that have been obstacle in your life i know i'm not praying to change god's heart we cannot pray to revert god's heart or his decision but we can pray the will of god to manifest amen hallelujah because god has so many promises he has established good things for your life god has released great mighty plan for your life amen and as you know as we go through time and season there are obstacles on the ways that's why we say all things work together in the name of Jesus, that all things will work together for your good. In this month of June, I pray that all things work together for your good. Whatever you are desiring, may it, hallelujah, all the good things that you are desiring for your life, for your family, for your children, for your marriage, all things work together. In the name of Jesus, maybe you are in the middle of buying a house, in the middle of mortgage modification, maybe you are in the middle of are looking for a new job to move up in the ladder amen all things work together the bible says all things work together amen hallelujah all things work together for your good tonight all of those that are involved in the process amen they will come under the mighty anointing of the name of the lord jehovah god jehovah jireh he is our provider in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, all things work together for our good. This month, all things will work together for your good. In the name of Jesus, it is my heartfelt prayer tonight that my God, our Lord, shall supply all your need according to his riches and glory through Christ Jesus. In this month of June, in the name of Jesus, God will take you beyond your limit. He will take you beyond your limitations whatever cage hallelujah whatever thing that seems like a caging system i see somebody i'm speaking to somebody right now in the name of jesus maybe your life has been like a cage you have been uh, 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 uh being put in some sort of limitations at your work amen you've been in that position since hallelujah you can remember but it seems like you've been placed in that place you didn't put yourself there you are not able to go beyond, hallelujah, your position. You've done it and worked. All they did is to change your, your decks. But your salaries and your position remain the same. Tonight, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah, that cage is going to be open. And you are coming out and rising beyond the limitation that you have been placed tonight in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus. My Lord, you work with relationship. My God. Our God walks in with relationship. He is a relational God. God of relationship. He's a God of divine contact. He's a God of divine alignment. You have your own calendar. Hallelujah. Father, tonight in the name of Jesus, 
in the precious name of Jesus, I lift up your children tonight. We pray tonight as we bind our faith together, as we knit our faith together in the name of Jesus, as we knit our faith together, when you knit, meaning join together, we bind our faith together in the name of Jesus Christ. We unify our faith tonight. The Bible says, hallelujah, one of you shall change a thousand, but two shall put ten thousand into flight. Hallelujah, I come to with you tonight, we rise up tonight, unifying our faith in the name of Jesus and action by the power of the living God in the name of Jesus, hallelujah. I pray tonight, Lord God, that all of those that you have assigned, amen, to limit, to bring, hallelujah, take your children beyond the limit. I pray tonight, even in this month of June, hallelujah, let it be possible that they will come in contact with people that will take them to the next level. Sometimes it's called destiny helpers. Sometimes it's called helpers of destiny. My Lord, my God, in the name of Jesus, Christ of Nazareth, in the precious name of Jesus, I pray tonight that by your power and by your anointing, that all of those that hear my voice tonight, in the name of Jesus, whatever personal limitations that they may have in their life, whatever that may seem like an obstacle that they may not be able to overcome by themselves, I pray in the name of Jesus, for with God there is no limit. In the name of Jesus, that you take them beyond their limit tonight in the name of Jesus. Father, take me, take them beyond my limit, beyond their limit, family limit, in the name of Jesus. Take me beyond my family limit, take them beyond their family limit, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We know, Lord, that many limitations are placed, bound on limitations are placed by enemy, in the name of Jesus. And that brings me to the prayer of Jabez. Jabez name, his limitation were associated with his name. Hallelujah. His mother called him Jabez because he was born of a child of sorrow. Praise the Lord. Father, in the same faith tonight, we are praying tonight. Even as Jabez rose up and called upon the gods of the heaven, the God of the heaven and the earth. And he said that you might rest your hands upon his head. So tonight you that hear my voice, if you could rest your hand upon your head tonight in the name of Jesus. Begin to declare in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the powerful, most powerful name of Jesus, in the name of Yahweh, in the name of the living God, that the hand of the Lord rest upon your head, that your hand that rests upon it be a symbol of God's hand on your head, that he will take you beyond your limitations. He will make you to rise and possess your possessions. That the Lord God, Jehovah God, that never sleepless nor slumber, will take me and take you beyond your family limit. He will take you beyond your coast. In the name of Jesus. In the precious name of Jesus. And every obstacle that the enemy has laid up, hallelujah, to, 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 to make you not to rise and to grow and to, and, and to yes, hallelujah, to grow and to get beyond your the limits of your family, your limit of your father, the limit of your mother, in the name of Jesus, by this anointing right now, you have been set free. In Jesus' name, the Bible says, they that the Lord, Son of God, set free. He that the Son set free. He is free indeed. In the name of Jesus, every power of delays in your life, every power of delays in my life, every powers of delays, every power of delays of your dreams, of your of God's plan for your life. Hallelujah. Your purpose not coming into fruition. Be broken tonight in the name of Jesus. Every satanic limitations, every evil satanic ancestral limitations be broken tonight in the name of Jesus. Yes, hallelujah. Every satanic, every evil limitations. Hallelujah. They say you will not be married. That your your marriage will not last. Every satanic limitation that says that you will not possess, hallelujah, the blessings of God. Every satanic limitation that bound you to a, a locality of a place where 
your skills and your talents, hallelujah, not being harnessed and utilized in the name of Jesus. Maybe it's ritualistic incantations, charms, witchcraft, associated uh, witchcraft and incantation that have placed you in a place of limit in your family, hallelujah, in your community that localizes your dreams. Hallelujah. In a place where you are not being seen, your talents and your skills are not being seen. Every limitation that localizes your blessings, that refuse to allow it to take flight arise. In the name of Jesus is broken tonight. In the name of Jesus. Lord, let every good dream, let every good dream, every vision, oh God, that you have released in your children's life, let it be fulfilled in the name of Jesus. Let every good dreams, let every good vision. The Bible says in the book of Habakkuk, chapter 2, verse 3. He said the vision is appointed for a certain time, though it might be delayed. Write it down so that they that hear it may flee, may run with it. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh, thank you, Father. Maybe I'm speaking, I'm praying for somebody specifically right now concerning your dreams. Maybe you are asking, what happened to that dream that you had when you were a teenager? What happened to that dream when you first, hallelujah, moved to that community? What happened to that prophecy that you received? What happened to them? Why is it that he hasn't come to pass? Hallelujah. Maybe it's a prophetic revelation that was given to you. Amen. Praise the Lord. 10, 20, 30 years ago. Remember, our God is an ancient of days. He's omnipotent God. So by reason of prayer tonight, by reason of prayer, as we lift it up tonight, my Lord, my God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, in the supernatural name of the Son of God, I pray tonight, hallelujah, that let the very good dreams of the Lord that you planted in the heart of your children concerning their future, concerning their marriage, concerning their country, concerning their community. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I pray, Lord, let it be fulfilled even around these times in the name of Jesus. Lord God, I pray in the precious name of Jesus that this one that hear my voice will not die. I pray I come against every premature death in the name of Jesus Christ. Every premature death will not be your portion in the name of Jesus Christ. Every assignment of death is reversed. Every assignment of sickness is reversed. Every assignment of brokenness is reversed in the name of Jesus. Father, empower your children to reach beyond the goals, beyond the limits of their family. Beyond the limit of their father, their mother, in the name of Jesus. Sickness have no hold on you tonight. Disease have no hold on you tonight, in the name of Jesus. Maybe there are some of you that going are carrying a carryover of sickness, carryover of disease, carryover of affliction, bondage, hallelujah, of family, hallelujah. By reason of the blood of Jesus Christ, the Bible says, in the presence of the Lord there is liberty. Tonight, I pray that you have been set free from shackles of generational ancestral disease that goes through the family line and bloodline. In the name of Jesus, our God is not a God that makes a mistake. In the name of Jesus, he's a God of timeliness. He's a God of purpose. I pray tonight in the name of Jesus Christ that you have been empowered, empowered by the blood of Jesus. You have been empowered. In the name of Jesus, by this prayer that we are rendering tonight, in the name of Jesus, every shackles, hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Heavenly Father. Every spiritual shackles, every spiritual chain, every spiritual bondage, hallelujah, that have kept you bound within the locality, hallelujah, where you are right now. Be loose from it in the name of Jesus Christ. Be empowered to reach your goals, be empowered to reach your dreams. In the name of Jesus Christ, we serve a God that never fails. Every promise is signed and sealed with the authority of the, of the living God. 
and I've been pressed upon tonight to pray for righteousness in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. There is a family, maybe you are desiring to draw the members of your family to Christ, but there's been a limitations, ancestral shrines, witchcraft, worship of gods of the ancients, gods of your ancestors, gods of the of the hallelujah of of this word in the name of Jesus as we lift these individuals up tonight as you pray for them tonight pray that the Lord will cause a light to shine on their eyes and open their eyes to understand that there's a limitations in their life and as long as they continue to bow to those idols that that is the reason why there's been so much limitations in their life is it not evidenced already by the events happening that they cannot go beyond where they are right now? But when you begin to turn your face to serve a God that is not stationary, the, a God that is not bound to a limitation, a God that is not put in a box, a God that is not, that you have to carry from one place to the other, when you begin to open your eyes and begin to submit, to this awesome God who is everywhere. Our God is ubiquitous. He is everywhere. In the name of Jesus Christ. Only the skies will be your limit in your career. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I pray tonight that the families members. Men and women. Even the old ones who have get, gotten stuck with these traditions. As they begin to turn the, the light of God. Begin to touch their heart. They will come. Let them come to begin to receive the, the, the free gift of the Son of God, Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ. Therefore, I pray for you tonight, every yoke of distractions in your life, lack of focus, every yoke of drunkenness, every yoke of drug addiction, every yoke, hallelujah, of drunkenness, every yoke, hallelujah, every yoke of worldliness in your life, be removed and be destroyed, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm also praying for you tonight. Every cause of failure. Every cause of disappointment. Every cause of vicious circle of experimentation. Looks like your life from childhood has been one of experiment. And I call upon the Lord God tonight. He that created you before they knew about your name. Before the foundations of the world. Tonight. Every cause of failure. In your life. Every cause of failure. That you have experienced in your past. Will not prevent you from moving forward. Every mistakes of your parents. Will not, allow, will not be visited upon you. In the name of Jesus. Every mistakes of your mother's side. Will not be visited upon you. In the name of Jesus. For the Lord God said it in the Bible. 